Welcome to MSM Solutions YouTube channel. Quality systems, quality people. We're now going to talk about reference material and certified reference material. Firstly, let's define what each is and then we'll look closer in the differences between the two. A reference material is defined as a material sufficiently homogeneous and stable with respect to one or more specified properties which has been established to be fit for its intended use in a measurement process. While a certified reference material is a reference material characterized by metrological valid procedure for one or more specified properties accompanied by a reference material certificate that provides the value of the specified property, its associated uncertainty and a statement of metrological traceability. So when you look at certified reference material, there's a whole lot more added to what a reference material is. The main difference between reference material and certified reference material is metrological traceability. So what is metrological traceability? According to the International Vocabulary of Metrology, metrological traceability or measurement traceability is a property of a measurement result where the result can be related to a reference through a documented unbroken chain of calibration, each contributing to a measurement uncertainty. What does this actually mean? What it means is that it is necessary to establish a traceability chain where each step in the measurement chain is described and the uncertainty connected with each step is evaluated. How do you achieve traceability in your measurement instruments in your lab? There are essentially two ways. One is to use calibrated instrument and secondly is to use certified reference material. So how do you check that the service provider that you choose are actually giving you traceability, be it traceability on calibration or on your certified reference material, meaning traceability to SI or to a national standard? So firstly, let's start with calibration. So if you get someone to come and calibrate your equipment, you need to ensure that they are an accredited calibration lab and also ensure that they are within the scope that you require. That means they are calibration lab for the scope you require. For example, if you need someone to come and calibrate your temperature probe at maybe for your furnace at 500 degrees or more, you cannot get someone whose scope is to do room temperature a probe calibration which is up to a maximum of 30 degrees because they cannot provide you with traceability at 500. Now that you've checked the scope, the next thing to check will be then the following. You look at once they've calibrated, you look at the calibration certificate. The calibration certificate should give you the following information. It should have a value like whatever they were calibrating, a correction factor and a measurement uncertainty. So if it's temperature, it will say this temperature was it was supposed to be this and it was found to be this this is the correction and this is the uncertainty if it was mass same thing it was say this mass is supposed to be this mass but it was found to be this and therefore this is the correction and this is the uncertainty another thing the calibration certificate will have will be a reference standard that they are using and also a calibration method that they are using a procedure they are using this is important because these two will show you who their traceability comes from and where they're getting that. They will also include environmental condition. And lastly, they will add a statement of traceability to a national or international standard. This will be, from in most cases, be traceability to NIST. So let's now look at how you get traceability with your CRM. So CRM could be your prep QC, it could be your pure standard or primary standard that you use. So what you'll get, you'll get a COA, a certificate of analysis. What you need to look at when you look at the COA is, does it give you a value of that particular element or compound? Value could be a concentration, it could be purity. Given with that value should be an associated measurement uncertainty and also some reference method used to get to those values. With CRMs, you could use an accredited provider because then you know definitely you will be getting traceability. Accredited provider would be accredited to ISO IEC 17034. That is, they are accredited to produce certified reference material. So once you use those uh, accredited providers, they will definitely be providing you traceability as part of their scope. However, some CRMs are bought from non-accredited service provider, but they still need to demonstrate traceability. 
when you look at the coa you still need to see a value and this will usually be consensus value from they probably sent out a sample to different labs and collected values they need to show which labs were used how were these um, values collected what statistical evaluation was done and they need to calculate measurement uncertainty and just show how each and every one of those numbers was done then in that case they will also show how the traceability has been achieved so this is different ways that you can achieve traceability within your own measurement since your measurement will also have a measurement and an associated uncertainty so in a nutshell it doesn't matter which services you use you have to check that they actually provide you with traceability so that you can also claim traceability or demonstrate that you have traceability